Now for the body, you're going to complete it the same way as you did for the head up until the last increase, which is one single crochet in five stitches and then two single crochet. So go ahead and finish up to that point and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. Now go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And we're going to go ahead and switch colors now. So you're going to go ahead and move your tan color forward and start working with the black yarn. And then you're going to do a single crochet into the next stitch with the black yarn. And then you're going to do a single crochet for as much as the black color as you want. I'm going to start by doing half with the black yarn. So go ahead and finish doing one single crochet for as much black color as you want and then come back and I'll show you how to change colors and like I said I'm going to be doing up to the half halfway with the black color alright so I finished about halfway so I'm going to go ahead and move the black yarn forward and then start working with my tan yarn and then I'm going to finish doing single crochets with the tan yarn and you can see how I'm forming the black splotch on the back of the body of the German Shepherd. So you can do your black spotch however you like and decorate your own dog the way you want with the black coloring. But I'm going to show you how I change colors. So go ahead now with your tan color and just do single crochets into every stitch. And if you're doing it like mine, go ahead and do a single crochet all the way and leave the last stitch unworked and I'll show you how to change colors. So I'm going to go ahead and do one single crochet with my tan color all the way until the last stitch, which I'm going to leave unworked. Now you can see that I have the last stitch, so I'm going to go ahead and change colors now. I'm going to move the tan yarn forward and start working with the black yarn. And I'm just going to go into that stitch and do a single crochet. And then just start doing single crochet with the black yarn and then do the black yarn all the way and leave the last stitch unworked of the black yarn and change colors the same way. And I'm going to be alternating my colors as I go and you can do the same thing for your German Shepherd and you need to have 18 rows total and then come back and I'll show you how to finish off the body. Alright so you should have finished your 18 rows of one single crochet into every stitch now we're going to start doing our decrease rounds. So you can go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. And you're going to do one single crochet into the next five stitches. One. Two. Three. Four five and then I just wanted to kind of show you too the design that I did on the back of my German Shepherd and you can play around with your designs change colors where you want to put your black markings and now we're going to do a decrease so you're going to go into the next stitch bring up a loop you have two loops on the hook then you go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. So my yarn ends from the knot out of the way. You're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through all three loops for a decrease. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Alright, so you should be back at your yarn marker. And now I'm going to finish closing mine with the black yarn. But you can do yours however design that you want. That's just how I'm going to be doing mine. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the brown yarn and I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just start closing with my black yarn. So I'm going to move up my yarn marker and now I'm going to do one single crochet into the next four stitches.
And then I'm going to do my decrease. And then I'm repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So now you can stuff it at any time and then you're just going to keep doing decreases. So the next row you're going to do th one single crochet in the next three stitch stitches and then a decrease. And then on the next row you're going to do two and then a decrease and then one and then a decrease and then come back and then I'll show you how to slip stitch it closed. You should be just about closed. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to keep decreasing. until you can't decrease anymore and I'm pretty it's pretty small now the opening so now you can skip a stitch and go into the next stitch and then you're going to yarn over turn the hook upside down and go through both loops for slip stitch and then you're just going to slip stitch closed and that's pretty much closed so now after you've closed it you're going to yarn over to finish off Turn the hook upside down and go through that loop. Just pull enough that you're going to bury into your work. Now just take your tapestry needle onto the loose yarn end and just go right into the center and come out anywhere on the body with the tapestry needle. Then pull it snugly. This is just a little bit of fuzz there and you can kind of pull those out if you want and then just take and cut the loose yarn end and the body is all done now you're just going to get your tapestry needle and some black yarn and you're going to sew the head onto the body so go ahead and place the head where you want it with the colorations on the body and line up the front with the nose making sure that the face is straight and then once you have the face and the head where you want it positioned you're going to take your tapestry needle and you're just going to go in through the head down into the body and then if you're coming out from the body then you're going to go back in through the body and up through the head with your tapestry needle and then you're going to go across through the head and down into the body and you're just going to keep alternating from the body up into the head and just sew all the way around until the head is sewn onto the body. Once the head is sewn on the way you like it, you can take your tapestry needle and all of your loose yarn ends, just go in where you tied your knot, and then come out anywhere on the body, and then just cut your loose yarn ends. And then when you come back, I'll show you how to make the feet. Now we're going to make the four legs. You're going to start with the color, the tan color that you're using for your dog, and we're going to do a magic circle. So you're just going to drape it across your four fingers and stabilize with your thumb, and then wrap it around your two middle fingers, and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. And I'm using my crochet, J crochet hook. Go under those two loops around the middle fingers. You're going to bring up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for your slip knot. Now you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. So you're going to bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through both for your single crochet. And you're going to do six of them into the magic circle. Then you're going to take your forefinger and thumb and hold at the base of the six single crochet and then pull on the loop one of the yarn strands 
And if it doesn't pull, you let go and pull on the other one to gently close your circle. And then take that loose yarn's end and pull on that. Now you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around. So you go into that first stitch and do two single crochet. One, two. So finish doing two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12 and then come back. Now, if you still have a little bit of an opening in the center, you can go ahead and turn your work over and just pull on that loose yarn end to close the center of the magic circle. And then you just need a yarn marker. I'm just going to use one of my scraps of yarn. Just place it right where you left off. Now you're going to do increased rounds. You're going to do one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. And then you're going to move your yarn marker up and then you're going to do two more increase rounds. So your last increase round will be one single crochet into the first three stitches and then two single crochet. And when you get up to that point, come back and I'll show you what to do next. Your work should look like this after three increase rounds. Now we're just going to do three rows of one single crochet into every stitch. So you're going to do three rows of just one single crochet into every stitch around and then come back. You should have finished three rows, one, two, three. Now we're going to start doing, go ahead and um, take your yarn marker and move it up and we're going to make the four paw. So we're going to do two, two uh, excuse me, crochet two stitches together. So in the next stitch, you're going to bring up a loop, and then you're going to go into the next stitch and bring up a loop. You have three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, and then go through all three for one. And we're going to do eight of these. Two. Three. four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now you're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch back to the yarn marker and then come back. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and now we're going to do four where we sew two stitches or crochet two stitches together. That's one, two, three, and four. Now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch back to the yarn marker and then come back. Now we're going to add the black yarn. So you're going to go ahead and go into your next stitch and bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook and you're going to grab your black yarn and then you're just going to hook the black yarn and bring it through and you're going to chain one and then just tie your knot. Now you're going to do five rows of sing one single crochet into every stitch. And I'm just going to go ahead and move up my yarn marker. And then you're going to go into the next stitch over, bring up a loop. And then you're going to use your tan color still. And you're just going to do one single crochet into every stitch, carrying along your black yarn. And you're going to do that for five rows and then come back and I'll show you what to do next. After five rows of one single crochet into every stitch, you go ahead and move your yarn marker up. We're going to do one increase round. 
You're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. I had one stitch left so I just did a single crochet in that last stitch. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up. Now you're going to do four rows of one single crochet into every stitch. And then come back and I'll show you what to do next. So four rows of one single crochet into every stitch. You should have finished four rows of single crochet, one, two, three, four. And we're going to go ahead and finish the four paws so they look like this. But I wanted to show you, you're going to make the back paws exactly the same way up until this point. But instead of only doing four rows, you're going to do 13 rows for the back paws. And then you're going to close it the same way. And you're going to need two of these. Now we're just going to continue and make the four paws. If you like to have all of the legs like this, you can do that as well, but I kind of like the muscle on the four paws. So we're going to finish. I'm going to show you how to finish doing this style for the front leg. Go ahead and stuff the four paw now, and you're going to want to stuff as we work. And then go ahead and take your yarn marker and move it up. Now you're going to do a decrease round. Do one single crochet into the first stitch. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do a decrease stitch. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three. Go ahead and do repeat this pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. I had two stitches left. I just did a single crochet in both of those stitches. Now go ahead and move your yarn marker up and you're going to do one more decrease round. You're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch and then in the second stitch you're going to do a decrease stitch just like you did on the previous row. And then repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Now you go ahead and move your yarn marker up and we're going to do an increase round now. So you're going to do one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. One, two. And then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Go ahead and move your yarn marker up and we're going to do one more increase round. The same way we did the previous row, you're going to go into the next stitch and do one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. Take your yarn marker and move it up. And now you're going to do one single crochet around. So just do one single crochet into every stitch, <coughs> excuse me, back to the yarn marker and then come back. Take your yarn marker and move it up and we're going to do one more increase round. Go ahead and go into that next stitch and do one single crochet. And then in the second stitch, do two single crochet in the same stitch and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. I had one stitch left, so I just did a single crochet in that stitch. I'm going to move my yarn marker up. Now you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch for four, four rows. So go ahead and complete four rows of one single crochet into every stitch. I finished my four rows, one, two, three, four, of one single crochet into every stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and do our decrease rounds. So go ahead and move your yarn marker up. And for this first round, 
You're going to do one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then you're going to do your decrease stitch. So you're going to pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three for a decrease. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around to the yarn marker. And then on the next row, you're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches and then a decrease and repeat that pattern all the way around. And then on the third row, you're going to do one single crochet in one stitch and then a decrease. And at the same time, you're going to be stuffing it as you close. And when you get to that round, come back and then I'll show you how to completely close it. Your work should look like this. And make sure you stuff it as much as you like. And then you can go ahead and get rid of your um, yarn marker. And now we also can go ahead and cut the black yarn. And I usually just tie a knot at this point. And then just take the excess black yarn. You can tuck that in as you're closing. And then you're just going to do decreases around until you can't decrease anymore. And then come back and I'll show you how to slip stitch. Now when you're almost closed, you can skip a stitch and then go into the next stitch. Then yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. And you just keep slip stitching until you're completely closed. And then once it's closed, I'm going to do one more. Then once you're closed, go ahead and yarn over and bring enough yarn through to bury into your work. And then you just take your tapestry needle on the loose yarn end and then take it right through the center, anywhere out on the leg, and then that'll close the top and just cut the excess. And then you're done with your two front legs. Now you just need to make two of the back legs and then come back and I'll show you how to sew them onto the body. All of your feet should be done. Go ahead and get your tapestry needle with your black yarn. We're just going to make the little claws that go on the front of the feet. I'm just going to show you how to do that. You just take your tapestry needle and we're going to do the far sided claw first. So you just go in and then count one, two, three rows and then come out with your tapestry needle. And you want to leave enough yarn to bury into your work. And then just go back down into where you came out, but come, go in as an, at an angle. And then you're going to come out two stitches over with your tapestry needle. And then you have one claw completed. Now we're going to do the center claw. So you count down three rows and then go in and then go at an angle to your last claw, which is two stitches over. And then you have your second one made. And then you just go straight down three rows with your tapestry needle. And then you're going to come out with your tapestry needle right where you initially came in. And then all of your claws are made, so then you just tie a knot. And then you're going to bury your loose yarn end by going in with your tapestry needle where you tied the knot and just going straight to the back, anywhere out the back with your tapestry needle. And then you just cut 
your loose yarn in. So go ahead and bury your last loose yarn in and then come back and I'll show you how to sew the feet onto the body. Now you want to take your two four paws and position them onto the body and you can see how I positioned mine and I just pinch it together and then I take my tapestry needle and the same colored yarn that you used for the upper arm and then you're going to go into that upper arm through the body let me just line it up again but go ahead and line yours up and then pinch it together and then I'll show you how you go through the so arms. I just take my tapestry needle and then I just go right through to the other side and then you just pull it through and you want to make sure you leave enough yarn on the other side for tying your knot and then you're just going to go a stitch over and then you're going to go right back through to the other side and then you're just going to puff it out position it how you want it and then once you have it positioned how you like it you just take and tie a knot and then you go through it again you want to do it twice just to make it more secure and then you do the same thing for the back legs and then just make sure you have the chest and the arms positioned the way you like it and then after you've gone through there twice you can take your tapestry needle and bury the loose yarn ends by just going directly into where you tied your knot and then just coming out anywhere and then cutting your loose yarn ends so now you should have all the feet sewed on and you can see how they will move forward and also back to stand Now we're going to do the tail. Now for the tail, we're just going to start with a magic circle with the same color tan as the German Shepherd. Just wrap it around, drape it across your four fingers and stabilize it with your thumb and then wrap it around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then take your crochet hook, I'm using my J crochet hook, and just put it under the two loops. And then just bring up a loop. And then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for your slip knot. Now you're going to do six single crochet into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then just take your forefinger and thumb and just hold it at the base of the six single crochet. And then you have the two loops on the other side of the magic circle. You're just going to pull on one of them and this one's closing so I'm just going to keep closing it. And then take that loose yarn in and pull on that loosely. Now you're going to do two single crochet into every stitch around for a total of 12. And then come back and then I'll show you what to do next. Go ahead and turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn in to pull the magic circle closed. And then get a loose yarn strand or your yarn marker and place it right where you left off. And we're going to go ahead and join the black yarn. So you're going to go into the next loop, I mean stitch, and bring up a loop. You have two loops on your hook. You're going to take your black yarn and then just hook your black yarn and bring it through those two loops. 
and then do one chain one and tie your knot on back and now we're just going to do one single crochet all the way around and I'm actually going to use my black yarn and you can make your black color for the tail however you like but you're going to do one single crochet into every stitch around and then just change colors by moving the black yarn forward and working with your other color wherever you want to place the black color coloring on the tail just like you did for the body so one single crochet in every stitch around so my tail is 23 rows and you can see how I did my color changes and then just finished off with my black colored yarn and when your tail is as big as you like it then you can just take and go into your next stitch over and then you're going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch and then you're going to finish off by yarning over and pulling enough yarn through to sew onto your work and I'm just going to use the rest of my yarn up. So now you're just going to take your tapestry needle and put it on the end of your yarn and you're just going to sew it onto the back of your German Shepherd and I'm going to just sew mine right let's see right near the magic circle where I closed up the other side of the body I'm just going to put the tail and just sew it in that area so it's hard to see the black yarn on my video but as long as you have the tail between the hind legs that's where I sewed my tail on looks good and now I'm going to work on some of his accessories so I got some of these police stickers that come from the scrapbook collections and it has a lot of police items in it that you can use and I like this support our police sticker emblem so I'm making the circle the same way that I made for the sunglasses so you're going to make the circle just like you did for the circle for the sunglasses except I did two increases so I did one single crochet and two stitches and then two single crochet so I made it one round bigger than the sunglasses and now I'm going to take the sticker and just put it right in the center and it fits nicely and then I'm going to take my tapestry needle and just put the same colored yarn on it and the tapestry needle will go through the sticker so I'm just going to leave enough on the back to tie a knot and then I'm just going to go through the side I don't want to ruin the emblem and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom Now I'm going to take and chain the amount needed to put it around the dog's head. I did a chain of 40 
And this will probably be easier to slip stitch on the back of your dog. But I'm just going to go into that initial chain that I did. Now I have two loops on the hook. And then I'm just going to yarn over and bring that yarn through both loops on my hook. And then I'm going to finish off. And then just bring enough yarn through to finish sewing onto your work. And then you can move your badge back to the front. Then you can take your loose yarn in on the tapestry needle and you could sew it into the back. Then you have your badge. So here is Rex, the German Shepherd, with his sunglasses on. Just wanted to give you a close-up look at him. And here he is. Just going to slowly turn him so you can see what he looks like. This is what he looks like from behind. And his legs will move because I attached them from the side. I like to attach the legs that way. And he has his badge. And I also made him a neat name tag. And here's the back of his name tag. So that is Rex. And I'm going to show you what he looks like without his sunglasses too. And here is the female version. And I made her with the Karen yarn, the one pound yarn, and she actually turned out a little bit bigger because of that, even though it's the same pattern. And she actually has purple eyes, even though they look kind of blue on video. And then here is the little puppy, and he's actually the same pattern too, except that he is a smaller sized hook. So you can make a smaller version, and this is what he looks like compared to the other dogs. So here's a close-up of Rex without his um, shades. You can see what he looks like. And the hat, I actually sewed in place. And then for Rex, I actually used my J or 6 millimeter crochet hook. And if you like the smaller puppy, the smaller puppy is the exact same pattern, but I used a D or 3.25 millimeter sized crochet hook. If you like to make your own eyes, the eyes, this one's a real pretty blue, and I used my um, J crochet hook for both of the eyes on the female German Shepherd as well as the little puppy. Okay, to make the pretty bow that goes on the female German Shepherd, I'm using the Red Heart Super Saver yarn, and I'm using the lavender color for the bottom portion of it. And the first thing you're going to do, just use your J crochet hook or 6 millimeter crochet hook, and we're going to do a slip knot, so you're just going to fold it over on itself, and then just put the crochet hook through. Take your middle finger and your thumb and hold it at the base. And then yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through that loop for your slip knot. And then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to do a slip stitch into that first stitch that you created. So go into that first stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through both loops on the hook for a slip stitch. Now you're going to go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to do a total of, this is, counts as your first treble crochet, and we're going to do five more into the circle, the center of the circle. So we're going to do treble crochets, just yarn over twice, 
go into the center of the circle, bring up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two. And then yarn over and go through two. So we completed a treble. So we're going to do four more treble crochets into the circle. So one, two, three, we're going to do two more. one more and then you're going to chain four one two three four and then you're going to slip stitch into the center of the circle you're going to bring yarn over and then go through the circle and the loop on the hook to do a slip stitch then you're going to chain four one two three four and then you're going to do five more treble crochets into the circle on the other side so go ahead and complete that and then come back and I'll show you what to do next you should have completed five treble crochets on the other side then you're going to chain four one two three four and then you're going to do a slip stitch into the center again And then we're going to finish off. So you're going to yarn over and then bring the yarn through the loop and bring enough yarn that you're going to wrap around the center of your bow. <clears throat> now you're just going to wrap the yarn around the center to create your bow. And then once you've created your bow, you're just going to turn the work over and tie a knot onto the back. And you've completed one bow, so now you just need to make one more bow with whatever other color. I'm using Karen Simply Soft, soft pink for the inner bow and then I'll show you how to sew the bows together. Now you should have both of your bows completed and just going to take your tapestry needle and take the loose yarn ends and put them through the purple bow behind and then just tie a knot on the back and then I'm just going to clip mine but you can bury your loose yarn ends if you want I'm just going to clip it on the back and then I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm just going to go through one of the pink stitches at the base and then also the back purple stitch and then I'm going to take my purple the same color purple yarn and then I'm just going to hook it and bring it through and then I'm going to do a chain one and just tie a knot on the back and then I'm going to do a single crochet into each of the stitches all the way around. So go ahead and do a single crochet into every stitch down to the middle again and then come back and I'll show you how you go to the other side. You should have single crochets all the way around the one side and then when you get to the middle you're just going to go directly across into the pink stitch and the back purple stitch and you're just going to do another single crochet 
And then you're just going to do single crochet all the way around again, back to the middle. When you've made it all the way around, you're going to do a slip stitch into that first back purple stitch, yarn over and bring both, bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch, and then you're just going to finish off. Just yarn over and then pull the yarn through, just enough to bury into your work. Now you're just going to take your tapestry needle and sew your loose yarn ends onto the back and then come back and I'll show you how to put the ribbon on. Now you just take your ribbon and I'm using the Ofray ribbon. You can use whatever color you want. I'm and using mine is white. a quarter inch sized ribbon. You can use your crochet hook on the edge of the purple backing or whatever color you use for your um, bow and then you just hook your ribbon and bring it through. And then you're also going to bring it through, you just pull it along the back, and then you're going to hook it on the other side as well. And then you just need enough ribbon to tie a bow, and then you just cut it. Then you just take your ribbon and place it on the dog ear and then you can tie your ribbon around like this and you can see how I tied the ribbon around the ear of the puppy or not actually puppy but the female German Shepherd.